There's an intimate zone, personal zone, social zone, and public zone. These are only guidelines based on general tendencies, but fundamental to designing the five types of common space that facilitate interaction and build community. The five types are quiet, communal, seasonal, casual, and interactive. A quiet space is primarily concerned with the personal zone because of its intimate scale and the smaller size of groups that gather here. Quiet spaces are sought out. They are acoustically controlled and can promote introspection. You might seek out a quiet space during the convention and use your social zone as a buffer to prevent others' activities from interfering with your own. The most important spatial qualities to consider in the quiet space are sound, daylight, views, temperature, and scale. A communal space is a lively environment accommodating any variety of activities and extending into the public zone. It's a great environment for larger groups, but individuals can find community here as well. Activity and energy bolster the camaraderie, lessening the need for a personal zone buffer. You can find your place within the bustle of movement, sound, and interaction here. The space often has a high density of people because of your expectation to be around others. Its most important spatial qualities are sound, activation, visual stimulation, and visual connection. Two down with three to go. We'll move quickly through the remaining types. Seasonal is an exterior space where the natural environment enhances the experience. Casual is an unstructured environment that promotes relaxation and comfort. Interactive is an adaptable space, allowing engagement with an activity. So what do we do with all this research? It only becomes meaningful when infused with your expertise. Early collaboration is key. It establishes a project's goals and the spatial qualities that are best for your students and staff. When this happens, common space becomes truly unique because it is designed through the filter of your history, values, tradition, and culture. What exactly do these spaces look like? We thought you might ask. 